Hello, I'm Anthony. Today I want to have a little bit of a chat about channel visibility, the navigation of your way around the project. When you're working in Cubase, it's very rare that you want to see everything all the time. But I'm going to show you some um, tricks and shortcuts today to, to help you really improve or optimize how you get around your project. Now, as you can see, I've got two different track lists here. Uh, the top view, this is accessed from the project divine track list feature, by the way. This upper list is all of my metadata information, so bookmarks and master buses, code tracks, tempo, whatever. I also have this unused folder. This contains all of my disabled tracks. So as you can see, if I've created a VST instrument with MIDI data, ultimately I'm gonna render that down to audio, but I don't want to throw the original MIDI instrument away. And so I disable them. That removes all CPU burden from the system. They have a zero footprint on the project, but I've still got that instrument. I can re-enable it if I need to. I then create myself a folder called unused and throw all of those disabled instruments in there. Disabled instruments don't appear in your mixer, so they really do have an absolute minimal impact on your project. I just hide that up into the top view because it's not data that I want to see on a regular basis. With that said, the majority of today, we're gonna be talking about the lower view. This is where our audio data lives. And there are a couple of different metrics that we need to talk about here. There's the concept of zooming and the concept of hiding tracks. Let's deal with zooming first. Over on the bottom right-hand corner of your project view, there's a little drop-down button here with various zoom tracks. Now, I only use the top four of these zoom tracks, one, two, three, and four. I have set up on shortcut keys. So at the press of a single key, I can zoom to any of those heights. One and two are far and away the most common that I prefer to use. In order to set up those keyboard shortcuts, very straightforward, head into key commands and in the zoom section, zoom tracks one, two, three, and four, you can see there's my keyboard shortcuts for them. While we're in this um, section, the other two functions that I use absolutely all the time, zoom full, you see I've got a keyboard shortcut set up for that and also zoom to locators. There's a keyboard shortcut set for that. So again, these two are just absolutely superb. Zoom full shows you the entire song and zoom locators does exactly that. So by far the two most common forms of zooming that I'll use. If you're dealing with a single track and you want to see it nice and big, press Z. And you can see what that's done. Press my shortcut key to get back to truncated size. If I multi-select different tracks and press Z, they all get zoomed or unzoomed. I can also pick this little curtain up and manually resize any of those tracks. Uh, control mouse scroll to zoom into a particular part of the project. And once I'm done with all of that, press back to track height one and zoom to the full song. So what I've just demoed to you there is basically all of the zoom functions that I use between zooming full, zooming locators and those individual track heights. That's all I'm really interested in. I do the vast majority of my zooming actually when pressing the control key down here. I just use my mouse wheel to scroll in and out and find that far and away the easiest way to work. Okay, let's have a look at the other metric, which is the visibility of the tracks themselves. So let's say I'm working on the guitar solo this section between bars 45 and 53. So I've just set the locator points around this solo. You can see here's the guitar solo itself. You can also see there's a big swathe of emptiness here where the vocals aren't doing anything. So I don't really need to see any of these tracks while we have a magic shortcut that's gonna make them all disappear. So now you can see all of the tracks that are left to me are the ones that actually have data on. I Press another magic shortcut to make everything come back again. Let's have a look at where they are. We head into edit, key commands. This time we're gonna head into channel and track visibility. And these are the five shortcuts that I'm gonna show you today. The first two that I just demoed were show channels or tracks with data between locators. I've got this keyboard shortcut. I've set these keyboard shortcuts up myself. In fact, a couple of these have overwritten or the shortcuts of Cubase, you do whatever you want with the, the, the particular keyboard shortcuts you want. And then Control Alt A was the one to show all channels and tracks. So I'll demo the other three for you. I'll just close this down. Let's say for the time being, I'm not interested in seeing any of the drums. Just get rid of the mixer. If I select the top track of the drums and then hold the Shift key down and select the bottom track, 
I can now hide all of the currently selected tracks. There's my keyboard shortcut for that, and they've all gone. Once again, when I want to see everything, press the show all key, and they're all gonna reappear. Conversely, I might want to see only the currently selected tracks. I can do that. And now, as you can see, all of the other tracks have been hidden, and I can only see the drums. Let's just have a quick confirm of what those various commands are. So the one that we just demoed there is show only the selected channels. There's my keyboard shortcut. And just before that, you saw me demo hide selected channels and tracks, which is this keyboard shortcut. The final one of those five shortcuts is show the data at the cursor position. So if I just get back to the point where I'd shown all of the data in between the locators, you can see that this main vocal line has been left hanging on because it just pokes into the locator range. You can see there's this tiny amount that's just hanging into the locator range. That's enough to keep it visible. So one option for us to get around that, if that's a problem for you, if you select your cursor position, we have a dedicated command to only show the tracks that have data at exactly that position. And there it is. And now you can see that vocal tracks disappeared. The issue with that is that some of the stuff that I think you actually need to see has also disappeared. We've now only got one guitar track. As opposed to seeing everything inside the locators where you'll see both guitar tracks. So I think show all data in between locators is hugely more useful than showing everything under the cursor and it's the one I use far more often. Hope that's been useful to you. Please hit like if it was. I'll see you again. Thanks very much.